This play deals with a search for identity across borders. Searching for oneself, looking for identity and place and family, and also dealing with the, the circumstances that you're dealt, also in terms of family and place. In a way, all of us, we are refugees somehow. It's a theme that I think, whether you're aware of it or not, with it, when you scratch the surface, you say, I'm from here, but when you, most people say, well, actually, I'm from here, but my family's from somewhere else. So, especially in America, you feel that everybody has a refugee in them. This uh, history of refugees is, is the subject that it's never stopped. I mean, it's happening all the time. This planet is full of refugees. If we looked a little deeper, we would see our own connections to this concept and to this play, which I'm hoping this play will bring out. Home will never be far away. We return as soon as the war is over. When the almond trees bloom, well, it's been an incredible convergence of people that one could never really plan for. It's just this kind of amazingly happened. Ah, Sudbina. Sudbina. That's a Serbian Balkan concept of kind of like fate. There is some reason to meet some people. Kita Milivojevic was a person I had met in Serbia. People were talking about him as an up-and-coming director. He came to see some of my performance in the theater. And we started to talk a little bit after the show. And, uh, Incredibly enough, found out that his father and my father came from the same remote village. It's such a small village, you can't even believe how that's maybe 30 houses. That this very remote village uh, that you couldn't even find on the map was a place that brought us together. <laughs> it was so strange to both of us in that this village would produce two people, let alone one in the theater world. Tim Erickson was someone I suddenly I discovered a few years ago at the Mon Montague Book Mill when I went to one of his concerts. Tim is like a, one of the more unbelievable musicians I've ever met. He's a Grammy and Oscar na nominated composer. Milan, the, the playwright, came to the show not knowing that I had any connection to the Balkans at all. As it turned out, just have a lot of sort of related kinds of music that I do that were things that he had been thinking about being a part of this play. To find somebody who could do that kind of the Appalachian music as well as music from the Balkans in one person is almost unheard of. Music functions in a number of ways in the play. Some of them are fairly traditional. There's also kind of more abstract ways in which music is working in the piece. I am somewhat in conversation with the characters in some scenes, not just setting an emotional tone, but also kind of playing with back and forth in the kind of rhythm of, of the scenes. One of the things that is interesting about what we're doing is we're, make, we're, we're putting things side by side that are, have never probably been in a play side by side. The thing that people will find interesting that it, that they'll be exposed to some new cultural material and, and musical material. What I like in the play is this kind of crossing, uh, time and space. Histories are crossing and time is crossing over. They can find a lot of things that belongs to their stories. It's not a story about my family. It's a story about many families.